Listen up, people. All you vanilla, vanilla, vanilla lovers out there who want to smell um, 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 amazing, but not like a sweet little treat, then this video is for you. Nice. So vanilla is one of those notes in fragrance that took me a little while to get used to because I think for me, I was so used to vanilla being used in mainstream female fragrances. So that note always registered with me as being a feminine note. So I think for that reason, I kind of stayed away from it. But once I took the dive into niche perfumery, I started smelling some fragrances and that really opened my eyes to the world of vanilla. And now I absolutely love it. So today I'm gonna to be showing you five vanilla fragrances in my collection that are not edible, but smell amazing. Let's go. First up, from the house of Nishane, we have Ambra Calabria. Now in terms of the fragrances that I'm gonna be showing you today, this one is probably the most versatile in terms of seasons that you can wear this. This is a, an all year round fragrance that you can wear in any type of weather. It even works okay in the humidity. I live in Japan, we have very humid summers here, and I've worn it in the summertime and it works just fine. I kind of, I manage the sprays a bit, um, so I'm not over spraying the fragrance at all. So maybe for that reason too, that's why it's wearable. Um, but yeah, this is just a, an amazing fragrance. So what I really love about this fragrance is that if you were to cut this in half, it's polar opposites, but it is extremely well blended. So these fit together like puzzle pieces. It's impressive. So this starts with a green, fresh, and citrusy opening. And then once you start to move into the dry down, that amber and vanilla really start to push through. It's not like a really heavy or cloying vanilla, but it's definitely there, it's prominent, and the combination of those two opposites coming together is extremely unique, and it intrigued me from first sniff with this one. I don't have another fragrance like this in my collection, so yeah, this is a special one for me. As all Nishane fragrances do, this one has amazing performance and the sillage on this one is absolutely gorgeous. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Ambra Calabria by Nishane. Next up from the house of Laboratorio Olfativo, we have Vana Gloria. So this is a very smoky, incense -y take on vanilla. So with this one, upon initial spray, you get a very heavy blast of saffron and some smoky incense in the beginning. And I guess to some people's nose, that almost comes off as like a cat pee smell. Uh, for me, I don't really get that. It almost comes off a bit, I don't know, like pickly to me in the, in the opening. Uh, on my skin, that only lasts for about 15 minutes. And then from that point, that's where this fragrance becomes amazing for me. You get that vanilla, and smoky incense really start to push through. And I mean, I guess it kind of reminds you of maybe, you know, sitting in like a church in the winter time. Now, I know that doesn't sound very sexy, but this fragrance is extremely sexy. But for some reason, it gives me that image. So I know those two don't go very well together at all, but this is a very sexy fragrance. Now this fragrance also gets compared to YSL's Baby Cat. It's made by the same perfumer, one of my favorites, Dominique Ropion, but I haven't smelled YSL Baby Cat, so I can't compare the two. This one is extremely unique and amazing. Performance is moderate to strong with this one. You know, I get about eight to nine hours of longevity and the dry down on this one is what makes this extremely special. I love it. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Vana Gloria by Laboratorio. Olfativo. Next up from the house of Virtus, we have Vanilla Oud. Yeah, I know, I show this one on the channel a lot, but it's that good. The Oud and Vanilla here is blended to perfection, and in my opinion, this is borderline masterpiece. I love it. And this is a huge, you know, if you're into compliments, this is a big compliment getter. So this one basically smells like caramelized vanilla, with a bit of funk sprinkled on the top. Um, when you smell this one up close, you can definitely smell the oud in here, but in the air, I don't get it at all. Um, I just smell 
sweet caramelized vanilla and it smells delicious. Now, I wouldn't say that this one is like overly gourmand, but I, but I think out of all the fragrances that I'm showing you today, this one pushes probably the most into that gourmandish territory, but I wouldn't call this a gourmand fragrance. You know, there are aspects of this fragrance that do smell delicious, but yeah, this is an amazing one. The bottle is awesome, you know, and I mean, come on, who doesn't love a magnetic cap? I love it. But yeah, this is a great one. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of sprays with this. I feel like if you spray this one too much, it might be a bit overpowering. Um, this doesn't project heavily, but it leaves an intoxicating Siash trail. This fragrance lingers. It really lingers in the air. So when you walk by, people will smell you for sure. So, you know, I would say maybe two or three sprays and this one will work perfectly. If you can, get yourself a sample of Vanilla Oud by Bertus. Next up from the house of BDK, we have Vani Leather. So this one is the newest release from BDK, and this one was also perfumed by Dominique Ropion. I think this is his first uh, creation for this house. So this one is slightly aromatic. You get a kind of a powdery, lipsticky type vibe um, from the Oris in here, but this is very heavy vanilla with a slight leathery tone. I'm not 100% sure if there's actual leather in this fragrance or not, but I definitely get you know, a subtle tone of leather here, but as this fragrance dries down, that vanilla starts to really push forward. And then that, that powderiness, you know, lasts from beginning to end with this fragrance. This fragrance has moderate to strong projection and about eight hours or so of longevity. This is a nice one. It's a good pickup for me. And I decided to pick this one up in a 10 mil bottle instead of the 100 mil. Again, you know, I'm, I'm getting quite a lot of fragrances in my collection, so I'm trying to minimize space a little bit. And you know, if I, if I really feel like I wanna get this fragrance again, after I wear through this 10 mil, I'll probably go with the 100 mil. Yeah, I do love that about BDK. For the majority of their fragrances, they do offer 10 mil bottle options as well. So you know, it's something to look into. But yeah, this is a good release from them and I'm looking forward to spending a lot of time with this one uh, in the winter months. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Vani Leather by BDK. And last, going back to the house of Nishane, we have Ani. I mean, so this fragrance here has gotten plenty of hype in the community and on YouTube. I'm sure everybody has seen videos about Ani, but rightfully so. This one is such an amazing fragrance and this is also perfume one of, by one of my favorite perfumers, Cecile Zerokian. She does an awesome job with vanilla fragrances in general, and she's able to create these vanilla fragrances that do not smell, or that, or that don't go down the gourmand territory. They don't smell edible, um, but they do smell very, you know, sweet, luxurious, and quite opulent. As all the fragrances on the list today, they are all unisex. Uh, this one opens up with a, a bright blast of citruses, and then once you start to push into the dry down, that's when this vanilla starts to really push through. And this is a vanilla bomb. I love this one. And be extremely careful with this one. Out of all the fragrances on the list today, this is the most, I mean, this is beast mode. This will fill a room. Projection, sillage, longevity are just monstrous with this one. This will last all day. You'll take a shower, you'll get out, and you'll probably still be able to smell it. So, you know, go easy on the trigger with this one. A little goes a long way. I love this one uh, and I can't get enough of it. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Ani by Nishane. All right guys, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And let me know down in the comment section which vanilla fragrances you have in your collection that you love to wear uh, during the cooler months. I'd love to hear about them. So I hope you guys are staying healthy and well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.